For Duquesne students, an open seat in the Gumberg Library can prove elusive around finals week. However, a new policy from the library hopes to change this. The policy actually came out of um, us seeing a problem with uh, what a lot of people have called table hoarding. Table hoarding is when students leave their items unattended on a table in the library as a way to reserve their seats for later, meaning no students can use the seat while they're gone. And if you're looking to find a place to study, you might be out of luck. The result is, is that many students come in looking for a space to work and don't want to disturb their, you know, colleagues, but they don't have anywhere else to go. Clewer says students have complained about table hoarding in the past. We have comments of students who frequently use the library throughout the year, then commenting to us that they avoid the library completely because they can't find a spot. The library sees a noticeable drop in attendance around finals week. Well, at the front of the, the library, we do track who comes in. It's a, a, a fairly rough estimate, but during finals week, they drastically drop. Second year law student Nicole Prieto says she prefers to study in other places. I'll often study with my study group in places like the uh, law library or the student lounge in the law school. Honestly, I usually go to Gumberg just for like printing things. If, uh, I happen to be there, um, or if the law building is closed, I might be in Gumberg late at night, but I'm not really there that often. Junior public relations major Natalie Fiorilli also avoids studying in the library. The library is alright, but it gets really busy and it can be a little bit distracting sometimes, so I don't always go there to study. I can study in my apartment or I'll go to one of the uh, buildings on campus and study wherever it's actually quiet. Cleaver says the library has tried several ways of communicating the new policy to Duquesne students. First, what we did was we created a, a poster and a, a small brochure about this size. Um, we've attached this to every single table in the library and every single cubicle. Um, we sent an all-student email that had the details of the policy. Um, we've posted it to social media on our Facebook. And then on our blog, we've also done a detailed FAQ um, using many of the responses that we've gotten through the Survey Monkey that we posted. Cleaver added that theft of unattended items is a real possibility. So interestingly, uh, that's there hasn't at least um, been issues of theft as far as I've known, but it's a serious concern that the library staff has. In the end, it's up to the students to make studying for finals more manageable. Everyone has to share the space and have to sort of make some sacrifices to make sure that everyone can have a as stress-free of a finals week as possible. I'm Brandon Adio for DU Digital.